And we, Jennifer, we talked about it a little bit earlier, but let's get more into the details. If the body of Tylee is too destroyed, too decomposed, they can't have an answer as to what, the, the cause of death, who did what, that, walk us through that. Walk us through some of the challenges that we're learning from the crime lab. I mean, that body, both of those bodies have been there for quite some time. We, we didn't know if the prosecution was just not revealing a lot of information at this point, if they were going to hold off charges or what they knew. But this interview, uh, this call from uh, this, this recorded conversation back in October, it's you know, pretty recent, they don't have more information. What do you think about that? I think that doing autopsies and doing the scientific research around uh, bodies that have been severely decomposed, particularly burned, is just very, very difficult. And there's there's some things you can ascertain right away, but there's some things that just take a long time. And part of that is doing um, doing the specific and and specialized testing to determine if there was poison, if there were drugs involved. Uh, you know, a very a very uh, intense scrutiny of the remains to see if there's any sign of damage to the bones, if there are any small microscopic things that you can see that might lead you to what happened to these children, and particularly, you know, particularly uh, bodies that are burned. It's just so, so very difficult. So it does take a long time because you don't want to not cross every T and dot every I. You want to make sure you get all information because whatever the, whatever the answer is, going to certainly be challenged by the other side. And so you want to make sure that everything is done incredibly thoroughly. And that just time. Yeah, absolutely. There, there is a lot riding on this. People want answers. They want justice. And if you try to put the pieces together, it may seem that Alex Cox, Lori's brother, may have been the actual murderer and that these two were going to be charged with conspiracy to commit murder. We're getting more of the picture, and it's not a pretty picture. Uh, Lisa Lockwood, uh, Jennifer Shen, I appreciate you both taking the time. That's all of us for all of us here. Long Crime Report. We'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned. We're going to follow this.